Now the beaches in the southern part of Sarasota County are dealing with elevated levels of red tide. And although it's been about a month since Hurricane Ian, it could have influenced the bloom that we're seeing now. Amanda Holly joins us now to talk about the rainfall from Ian and how that really could have kick-started this, right, Amanda? Yeah, so it is very difficult to link, directly link cause and effects to red tide because red tide, that algae bloom, is very much naturally occurring, especially well out in the Gulf of Mexico. But there are certain things that exactly exacerbate this situation and one of those things is runoff from heavy rains and what did we see during Hurricane Ian? We saw a lot of rain in some areas. 10 to 20 inches of rain near that path that of course trekked right across the state through Central Florida and off the East Coast. And what happened to all of that rain? Well, it had to eventually try and make its way to the rivers, right? But as it's making its way to the rivers, it's running through a lot of dead vegetation, dead leaves, all those downed trees from Ian. Along the way, it's picking up nutrients from that decaying vegetation things like nitrates and phosphates and that's what the algae bloom feeds off of so as the water makes its way out into the Gulf of Mexico the algae starts to grow and feeds off of those nutrient rich waters luckily it's isolated areas and that's what we're seeing right now where that water's coming offshore we have low to medium concentrations there and high concentrations near Venice but a couple of things going for us we're coming out of the peak months for red tide and that's because our water temperatures are getting cooler and we're not expecting very heavy rains here over the next week or really month or so. Stacy.